Welcome back to the Early Edge. We have waited nine months, and it's time for a full slate in college football. And let's start off with the marquee matchup of the weekend, Clemson and Georgia in Atlanta. Let's get right away. I mean, we have a lot of different picks on this game. I like where our heads are at, but we're going to start with Emery, who's going with a, a different take as far as an underdog. Emery, why do you like Clemson? Well, again, I alluded to it in the first segment where you had all week, uh, all spring, all summer to prepare for Georgia. And these two teams kind of know each other rather well. Dabble kind of recruits like Georgia and Alabama. At one point in time, we were talking about Clemson as one of these dynasties in college football, a couple of national championships. And if you're Georgia, you definitely want to win this ball game because no one wants to hear that Dabble post-win press conference because he is going to lather it on real thick. But in this ball game, this is a show-me game. It should have been held in Missouri because you have two quarterbacks that I feel like have to show me something. You have Carson Beck for Georgia. You also have Clay Klubnick for Clemson. I feel like we should see a close game definitely under this 13 and a half point spread. So I am taking Clemson and the points here. Mike, this is a tough game to pick. I, I really went back and forth on this one. You're taking a unique angle at it as far as a team total. Which way are you leaning? Yeah, I'm going to be backing Clemson's team total under 17 and a half. And it's not to say that I don't like Clemson plus 13 and a half. I certainly think both of those plays could hit. Obviously, the full game under would as well. But when you look at Clemson and the style of play here, I look, Kate Klubnick, I think he's fine, but I think he's far from elite in terms of throwing the football down the field, especially against this defense. If Clemson wants to win this game, they know they're not winning a game that requires them to score 30 points, right? They're winning a game that is a slower defensive game that's kind of played at the line of scrimmage and with that clock running. I think they're still going to run the ball quite a bit with Maffa. And I personally think Beck has a lot to prove on the Georgia side as well. We've seen that team start slow a number of times. I also don't think they're going to ask him to be a hero. I think that Georgia is more than content to go in and win this game by seven points and play a, a really controlled style of game here. So I like the under 17 and a half. I think that having three touchdowns from Clemson, probably not going to happen against this defense. Uh, so when I'm looking at this one. I love the fact that I can have a Clemson game where it's like a 31 17 kind of game and we still catch this under on the Clemson Tigers. Music to my ears. We are going to agree on some picks. We are going to disagree on some picks. But gentlemen, I would argue that when I hear some of the points, especially coming from one of the sharpest minds around Mike McClure, that line up with a lot of my starting points in my pick, that's only going to make me more emboldened in my position because I agree Clemson does not want to make any mistakes early. They want to run the football with Phil Maffa. They probably want to shorten this game and they want to make sure that they don't have any turnovers. You remember Clemson was one of the worst teams in the country in terms of turnovers, fumbles lost. So red zone fumbles lost. They want to take care of things. They just want to be able to lean on their defense, which I do think is the more talented side of the ball. And I also think that Georgia is more than content to make this a four quarter game, which is why I'm going to be targeting the first half under 24 and a half. And of course, we got a key number there at 24. Uh, I will also note that Dabo Sweeney historically uh, will kick more field goals, punt in plus territory, not exactly a risk taker, especially in big games. And Clemson's kicker is a true freshman who will be making his first collegiate start. So I see all of that leading to uh, less possessions in terms of leaning on the run game, not taking a lot of risks. And then even when you get in scoring opportunities, Clemson may be settling for field goals along the way, just trying to get points where you can get them. Uh, so I think slow start to a noon kickoff indoors in the big body bins, first half under. Chip, I think that is a great pick. I am playing the full game under at 49, 49 and a half, whatever number you want to give me. I may buy it down some more. Listen, when these two teams played in 2021, the week one final was 10 to three and no offensive touchdowns <laughs> were scored. Ouch. These are two elite defenses, and I have less faith right now in the Clemson offense. And by the way, the, the first Power 4 team that Georgia has played since 2017 has averaged eight points a game. That really plays into M squared's team total, plays into your first half under, and of course my full game under. And one thing I love to do when making picks here is give score predictions on each game. Some of you may think are crazy. This one feels pretty realistic. Georgia 27, Clemson 10. 